We have to find a better way. The words of Winston-Salem Police Chief William Penn Jr. talking about just how frustrating it is seeing his officers arrest violent criminals only for them to be released back onto the streets. Last night, we brought you a de facto year in review with both Penn and Greensboro Police Chief John Thompson. Tonight, we're talking about what they say needs to change going forward. Fox Ace Michael Hennessy sat down with the Chiefs recently, joins us here in the studio tonight. Michael, the Chiefs were talking about the upward trajectory of their incoming classes, which is a change from the last several years. Neil, Katie, it's going to change things big time, not only for how they're able to catch those violent criminals, but also so they can take some officers away from the violence and address the number one thing you at home complain about. And we've also uh, made it a point to say we're, we're going to do more work together this year. Two departments, each with about 700 officers and other staff, two chiefs leading the charge with a common goal. When we are talking around lunch, we're all dealing with the same issues. When it comes to addressing violence in both Greensboro and Winston-Salem, Chiefs Thompson and Penn say going after who they define as trigger pullers is key. Historically, it would have been easy to, to cast a wide net and, and hope you, you catch those individuals that you want. And getting to them takes a multi-level approach. We don't have the luxury because we don't have the manpower to do that. So they have to work together and employ the technology at their disposal. It's extremely frustrating and, and we have to find a better way. But as we've seen, there have been several recent examples of people committing violence, then being released only to strike again. I'm talking specifically about violent criminals that need to stay in jail until they have their day in court. They're not talking about low-level offenders who can't pay their bail, and Thompson says he agreed there needed to be bond reform for those types of situations. Somebody who gets caught with a shoplifting sitting in jail for three or four months waiting to go to court is, is not the appropriate way to handle that. Uh, but I think we just we went too far in one direction. So they're working more closely with the district and U.S. attorneys to follow those violent offenders after their arrests. I personally would like to see a little more accountability in the judicial system. And, you know, they're magistrates and judges that make decisions around bond. The police don't set bond. And with those criminals being younger than ever, raising the age for teens to be charged as adults from 16 to 18 is coming into play. Which I agreed with. I think that, that it was appropriate, but... I don't think the state was ready for the impact it was going to have on all of the local jurisdictions. Um, they didn't have the facilities to hold youth that were 16 or 17 and charged with serious crimes. But despite all of the talk of violence. I say this jokingly, but I feel like everybody out of COVID just forgot how to drive. They say the top complaint they get is about what we all experience behind the wheel. We have a record number of homicides and Overwhelmingly, the number one complaint is traffic. And with so much time on the road, it's something these chiefs know all too well. When I'm driving my personal car throughout town, I mean, people are just passing me like I'm like I'm sitting still. I'll be out there, and some mornings I'll just I'll have somebody driving recklessly. Now, I'm not in my jurisdiction, but I'm like, this person's going to run somebody off the road. They're going to kill somebody and I will just tap my blue lights for a split second and all of a sudden everybody's at 65 miles an hour. Putting a stop to it is a matter of where these leaders are able to deploy their depleted forces. The struggle that we have had is that uh, violence has been so prevalent over the last two or three years. That's where our focus and our resources have been committed to. The community does play a role in public safety and just slowing down um, and just, just being cognizant of how you're driving would go a long way. But with both departments expecting an increase in officers in 2024, if you don't abide by the limit, you can expect to see more of these in your rear view. My warning to those who don't heed uh, my request to slow down is there's going to be some young running and gunning officers out here running radar who will write you a ticket, slow down. Not doing it because we have a quota. We don't have those. We're doing it because it's necessary to keep our community safe.
And when it comes to the community, Chief Penn expressed his thanks when it comes to solving recent cases of violence, saying people came forward and gave him information. The Chief Thompson once again brought up the murder of Sergeant Dale Nix in December. He said his department is still struggling with it and working with Nix's family, adding they would not be able to get through it and do their jobs if it wasn't for the community's support. He closed by saying, we are the community. Van.